Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'll be creating a super fun summer shaker card. I'll be using the Seashells background stamp, the Build an Ocean die set, wonky stitched rectangles die set, and I'll also be using Nancy Loves the Beach confetti mix and sand sprinkles. I started out with a piece of cardstock that measures roughly two and three quarter by four and a half. And I just did quick ink blending on this piece of cardstock. This is the piece that's going to go behind my shaker window. I wasn't too worried about getting a perfect blend because after I added a little bit of ink, I grabbed my water bottle and just spritzed a few water droplets here and there. I blotted up the excess water, added a little bit more ink, and then spritzed it again and set that piece off to the side to dry. Next, I grabbed the seashell background stamp and inked it up with some brown ink. And then I laid my cardstock, which measures four and a quarter by five and a half, right on top of that stamp and put a piece of scratch paper over that and rubbed really well to make sure that I got a nice impression. Once I had that panel stamped, I used the wonky stitched rectangles die and cut the window out of my shaker panel. And then I ran it through again with the largest wonky stitched rectangle die so the frame would measure four and five and a quarter inches. Once I had run that through my Gemini Junior, I decided to add a little bit of color on the frame. So I used mini fingertip blending brushes and a peach ink, a coral ink, and the same blue ink as I did for my background panel, and just did some random ink blending around that frame. Once I was done adding color to my shaker frame, I started coloring in the die cut pieces from the Build an Ocean die set. I really love this die set because of how intricate they are especially with the two pieces of coral that are in this particular die set. The coloring I did was really very easy. I didn't do anything super fancy. I did want to show a couple of the images that I colored in, like the coral and particularly the sand dollar. This die not only cuts it out, but it also does some embossing around that star pattern in the middle of the sand dollar. The Build an Ocean die set does come with two sizes of the scallop shell, also the twisty swirl shell, I'm not sure what kind of shell that is exactly, and also two sizes of seahorses. The scallop shells as well as the swirly long shell, they also have embossed designs on them which just adds that much more texture and dimension to them. I'll be sure to have all of the Copics that I used as well as all of the products that I used listed down in the description box below for you. Anyway, moving right along, once I had all of my die cut pieces colored up, it was time to start putting my card together. I used some double sided tape on the back side of my die cut frame and I had that tape pretty close to the edge. I removed that release paper and then I adhered a piece of acetate on the back side of that. Once I had the acetate adhered in place, I started adding in my foam tape. I started putting foam tape closest to the opening of the window first, and I made sure to have a really tight contact between those pieces of foam tape to make sure that the sand didn't spill out or the shaker bits didn't spill out. I also applied foam tape all the way out to the edges of my frame to make sure that it was nice and flush. Next, I dumped in a little bit of sand into my shaker window, and then I added in the Nancy Loves the Beach shaker mix, which is from This Calls for Confetti. And then I added another piece of acetate on top of that. The reason I did that is because I wanted to have a little seahorse in the window, but because I used liquid glue to adhere the seahorse on my ink blended panel, I wanted to make sure that I didn't get sand stuck around the seahorse. So by adding that extra layer of acetate, I was able to add in the panel with the seahorse and not have to worry about sand and stuff getting stuck around the seahorse. To adhere the panel with the seahorse, I used the same double-sided tape that I used to adhere the first layer of acetate. And then I added some glue to the center of the back of that piece and removed the release paper from the foam tape and added that to the front of a top folding A2 size turquoise note card. 
After that was adhered in place, I used liquid glue to add in all of my die cut pieces from the Build an Ocean die set. I concentrated all of those die cut elements on the lower left hand side of the frame just to make sure that you'd still be able to see all of the shaker goodness and also I wanted to make sure not to cover up the seahorse that's behind the shaker window and then I just had to add that small seahorse on the front within the coral. And that's it. That finishes up my card for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, we'd love it if you would. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.